Why, hello again, our friends. How are you? I am doing just fine. Thank Good. You. So today we're going to talk about beating the crap out of each other. <laughs> yeah. In Super Smash Brothers Brawl. Let me tell you something, man. Hmm? My hype for Brawl was through the roof. Yeah, same here. I remember getting it and literally around the time it came out in March of 2008. Right? I do. I love Melee. And then when they announced Brawl, I was like, all right. All right. I need that game. And there's so many, like, characters that they added that was, like, so fucking awesome at the time. And yeah, there, there was one in particular that made me, like, shit my pants. I was like, oh my god, no way. Yeah, I, I already know who it is, but it's just the way they revealed all the characters, especially for early internet, was just really ingenious. Mm -hmm. I will say, not every character from Melee is bad. Because something Brawl did that I actually really appreciate. There's no clones in Brawl, really. No, not re no. I mean, Gandorf is a little less of a clone now, but... Eh. I mean, nobody feels like a carbon copy of another character in this game. Honestly, from here on out, there aren't really clone characters until Ultimate, but they even say they're Echo Fighter. I'd say Gandorf is still kind of an Echo Fighter. <laughs> if that makes sense. He kind, still I mean, has kind, the base of Captain Falcon. Kind of, but they at least reanimated him. Yeah, he's a lot slower now, too. Mm -hmm. yeah. But, uh, man, my hype was... Jeez. Jeez. I can't think of many other games I've been this hyped for. Yeah, and, and as a kid, seeing it all in this, like, more gritty style, you know, was, like, really cool as a kid, because, you know, cartoons are bad. Yeah, and it's like, oh, everything's all edgy now because of the Dark Knight, so. Exactly, and it looked okay at the time. Now it looks ugly. <laughs> yeah, graphically it hasn't aged well. No, no, not really. But uh, this game was in development for many years. Like, it took them a while to get, Did, like, Didn't it delay, like, three times? Yeah. It was supposed to be a launch title, I think. And then I got delayed in 2007, I got delayed again in 2008, and I was like, oh my god, just release it already. Yeah, I don't know what they were doing, but there's a, there's probably, well, there's a big campaign to this game compared to the rest of the game, uh, other games, and even future games, so it might be why it took so long. So, first this is one first. Of the, This is one of the rare uh, games that used a dual-layered disc, because uh, they had so much content. There is a lot of content in Brawl, oh my god. <laughs> There's a reason why the disc feels actually a little bit thicker and takes longer to load. Now, I will say, when this game first came out, it received universal, like, praise. Yes. I loved it. I knew it felt slower, but I loved it. Yeah, it's, this game is a lot more beginner-friendly than Melee was. Like, that I was... Wish, I wish there was an option to make it feel more like Melee, but... You know, whatever, I guess. There was, um... Which is fine. I mean, I can understand. The last one was very tournament-heavy, so this one they wanted to make more casual. That's fine. There's no problem there. Yeah. We'll talk about the differences from Melee in a second, but let's talk about the roster now, shall we? Yeah. Uh, a, let's see. Who, let's talk about who they removed. They removed Mewtwo. Mewtwo's out. Dr. Mario is out. Yes. Uh, Pichu is out. Pichu's out. Young Link is out. Yeah. They really replaced him with Toon Link, which was a smarter decision. We'll get to that in a minute. Um, yep. I think that's all that got cut. I don't remember. There might be more. No, I think that's all that got cut. Roy! <laughs> Roy got cut. Yeah, unfortunately. Um, but the returning fighters we have are Mario, of course. There's something about him they changed, because between Melee and Brawl, Super Mario Sunshine came out. So his down B is now Flood. Yeah, that sucks. Okay. I don't like it. And his down, and that down B they used to have is now down A, and it's nowhere near as good. Yeah, um, they added a new mechanic to this, called the Final Smash. 
and it would become a staple in every game going forward. Which is basically your character super move. Like, um, it, think of Budokai's ultimate attacks. That's what these yeah. are. Mario's yeah. is he just summons a giant firewall at you. And all you gotta do to get it is just break the ball, that smash ball that's floating in the air, and hope to God you get it and don't get it knocked out of you. Push the B button without holding any direction, mind you, because otherwise it won't work. And, and then you do a super attack, and it usually will kill the guy. Yeah. And sometimes, no. the only exception I can think of is probably like Bowser and Wario, where mm -hmm. they just get like super forms, and they just go around like fucking clapping those enemies. Yeah, they transform. Um... Luigi, um, he's mostly unchanged from Melee. Um, Except for that one thing I mentioned last time that he has this time. It's if he does an uppercut on you, you have like a random chance to like send them like flying like a baseball it'll bat. It'll explode. <laughs> yeah, and you'll basically insta-kill him. His final smash is a fucking acid trip. Yeah, <laughs> he's just dancing and he's... In the weird void makes you sleep. I don't understand it, dude. It's bad. I don't like it. Yeah, Peach is back. She's again mostly unchanged from melee. She isn't as broken as she was from melee. From what I hear. What is her final smash? Uh she makes flowers appear or something like that. I think she <sighs> Dude, I know what it looks like, but I can't remember what the hell it does. Uh, anyway, Bowser is back. Yeah, and he looks pretty cool. Yeah, again, his moveset's basically the same, but his final smash, he turns into Giga Bowser. And that's a pretty neato thing to do. I like yeah. that. Yoshi, again, mostly unchanged, but his final smash is he grows a pair of wings and becomes, like, a dragon and just shoots fire at you. Yoshi's? Oh, yeah. yeah. Donkey Kong! His sucks donkey dongs. Um, his moveset's the same. Um, but he, like, plays the bongos at his final smash. It's really stupid. It's, like, a re obvi obvious reference to the DK bongos. But the way it works, you can make it work well, but it's it just not knowing what you're doing. You're like, what the hell does this even do? Link is back, and he's based on his uh, Twilight Princess design. Which just looks pretty cool, I guess. His uh, final smash is, I think he traps them in the Triforce and slashes them. Yeah. Okay. That's usually an insta kill. Yeah, uh, Zelda and Sheik are back. Zelda oh, uses an arrow. Sheik and, Sheik and Zelda have the same final smash. What? Sheik and Zelda. Sheik and Zelda have the same. I said Sheik and Zelda. Zeke and Zelda. Zeke and Zelda. Yeah. Sheik! Oh my god, I almost did it again. Sheik ah. and Zelda have the same final smash where they use the arrow of light. Well, ain't that something. And then we have our boy Ganondorf, who is again based on his uh, Twilight Princess design. Um, His moveset is a little different because it, it's animated different, but he basically is still Captain Falcon. Yeah, he's just a slower Captain Falcon and his, like, his just basic B attack uh, well, I, we should mention that this, if you have an early model Wii, you can use, uh... GameCube controllers, game controllers. Yeah. So if you push, so uh, just keep that in mind when we're talking about button placements. Yeah. So yeah. if you just push B, he'll do the punch, but instead of a punch, it's, uh, you, he, he tries to hit you with his elbow instead. And it, it's like, okay. Instead uh, of having the uppercut, he chokes you. Yeah. It's pretty cool. I like and, Gandorf in and, general. His final smash, he turns into dark, and here's the Ganon from um, Twilight Princess, and Dash is at you. Yeah, his, his final smash is the be beast, right? <laughs> yeah, he turns into Ganon from Twilight Princess. He turns into Twilight Princess Ganon. Yeah. Which sucks. I wish it was the other one, Ocarina of Time, but obviously... Oh, it's no, no, don't worry, we'll get there. Oh, yeah. yeah. Not as anything of a final smash, I think, but, you know... Whatever. No, an, ult an ultimate will get there. Don't worry. Oh, yeah. Yeah, years from now. <laughs> uh, Samus is back. Um, again, pretty much the same. Her final smash is a giant fuck you laser. Yeah, it's Kamehameha. 
Mm-hmm. And then after that, her armor breaks down, and then we figured out, most of us figured out, oh, Sheik's, or uh, Samus is a fucking woman. Yeah, it's crazy. Um, her, her final smash is just putting her armor back on, but if you're in the vicinity... We'll talk her, about Zero, we'll talk about Zero Suit Samus when we get to the newcomers. Yeah. So Kirby's back, and he kind of... He's the same. He's the same. His final smash, he burns them and, like, he cooks you. Yeah, making gourmet uh, mushrooms. Star Fox max, kind of, maximum tomatoes. <laughs> Star Fox is back, and he is heavily nerfed. Yeah, he's nowhere near as god tier as he is in Melee. Him, Falco, and Newcomer all have the same final smash, where you summon a Landmaster and just attack you. They f- at least Falco and uh, Fox in this game feels different enough compared to Melee. Falco is a lot better than Fox in this game. I like Falco a lot. He's my this main. Game. He's my main in Brawl, actually. I don't know who mine is. I used to jokingly play as Wario all the time when but I would yeah, play no, out by my um, friends. A big difference between Falco and this one is his reflector, he throws it now. He doesn't just use it, he throws it. Yeah. But see, otherwise, yeah. he's the same. Uh, Pikachu is back. Um... And his final smash, I believe, is Vault Tackle. Yeah, he, he just goes ape shit around the screen as you barely control him. Jigglypuff is the same, and her final smash, she inflates like a balloon. Yeah, and there's also a glitch in a Bridge of Elden. If you use it when the bridge is repairing, she'll just grow and stay big. That's hilarious. <laughs> and the hitbox actually is, like, different, because you're that actually big. Yeah. Captain Falcon's back. Um... His final smash is uh, not the anime destroying planet Falcon Punch, unfortunately. But oh, that should have been it. But no, he hits you with the blue Falcon. Woo, woo. Yeah, it should have been the planet destroying Falcon Punch. Um, Ness has returned. Um, he has move sets the same, but his final smash now is a PK Star Storm, which is a pretty good one. Hard yeah, to, it's, it, it can be hard to avoid. Yeah, uh, Ice Climbers. Marth is um back and um. I, I like how you just ignored Ice Climbers. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is their ultimate, dude? They summon a bicycle block, I think, or something. Oh wow! Who? Marth is a little <laughs> different because instead of swinging his sword, he like stabs now. I forget how he plays, honestly. His final smash, he dashes at you and fucking destroys you. You just die. And if you miss, uh, you die. If he hits you, though, you die. Yeah, so it's a 50-50 shot. Take Mr. it. Ga- Mr. Game & Watch. Oh, boy. He's the same. I think his final smash for a giant octopus. Yeah, and instead of just hitting you with little tiny bits out of the frying pan, setting you with bacon now and stuff. Why? I don't know. Now let's talk about the newcomers, shall we? Yeah. We got the boy Diddy Kong! Finally. And he's about awesome! Time. He's and awesome! And about time, too. I hate his up B, though. Yeah, I, I think his side B is a cartwheel, right? I don't remember, dude. I I, oh, I I never played Diddy Kong that much. I I th- I'll, I'm gonna look it up now, so I'm not lying to you, people. Um. Hmm. We must wait on his answers. Yeah. So Diddy Kong, uh, slaps forward twice as a neutral B. Oh, that's his neutral attack. Oops, I messed up. There's one where he leaps at Emmy's head, right? Yeah, yeah. He was really high on the tier list, actually. He was pretty fast, honestly, for Brawl. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he was. He was actually really fast. Should we move on to the next character, or are you still looking up something? So he's got his uh, his peanut gun and banana peels. He's got a monkey flip and a rocket barrel boost. And then his final smash is, I believe, he gets a jetpack and just goes to town. Yeah, you just fire a gun at him. 
After that, we got Toon Link, who effectively replaced Young Link. Yeah, and I, and I prefer Toon Link. Um, he's the closest thing Brawl has to a clone. And we're going to talk about it later, but I love the stage that he accom- he is like, complimented with. Uh, he's basically the same as regular Link. Mm-hmm. But he's got, like, the cartoon aesthetic and stuff, so... If you've, played, if you've played Project M, you'll know that he is absolutely broken. No, no, Toon Link's insane. If you've ever, dude, no. If you've ever seen Project M... I've played Project M. Dude, isn't he broken as fuck? He's a beast. I know, it's scary. Um, and then we have Zero Suit Samus, who's not really a new character. <laughs> it's more so just a second form, kind of like Sheik to Zelda. Yeah. Uh, she has her laser pistol, she has a laser whip. She can do a high jump, and I think she has a shield of some kind at her down base. She can um, do a fancy wall jump, too. Her final smash is she just gets her suit back. Yeah, if you're in her vicinity, that you'll get damaged, and you might fly out of the stage. And then we have who, by far, the most broken character in Smash history. Meta Knight. I was, like, excited because he just looked... I love Mad Knight from the Kirby... Uh, Nightmare he Nightmare. is absolutely busted. Yes, sir. His up B, he can survive anything. Like, he is easily number one on the tier list. This guy is a monster. He yeah. will destroy all of you. He'll destroy your kids. So watch out. So his final smash, I mean, he has a, his B attack is a tornado, his down B is a counter, his up B is a spiral shot, and his circle B is he dashes at you. Like, he's a freaking monster. He's so fast. He counter, he can hit, rack your damage up because of how fast he is. Yeah, his normal A attack is just constantly swinging his sword, right? He's one of the fastest characters in the game. He's not the fastest, but he's one of them. Is it yeah. Captain Falcon, or is it... No, no, it's not Captain Falcon second. We'll get to the fastest in a little bit. Mm. After him, they added Wolf from Star Fox. I find it weird they added Wolf and not Crystal. Yeah. Because Wolf is very similar to Fox and Falcon. He's a bit heavier. Yeah, but other than that, his moveset's the same. But the, the animations are different, and um, he looks cool. Yeah, I like him. Next up, we have the Pokemon Trainer, who is actually three characters. Yes. Which so is really, really, the Pokemon cool. Trainer doesn't do anything. He's got Squirtle, Ivysaur, and Charizard. And Down B switches them out. Um, Squirtle's up B is Surf. Mm-hmm. His side B is Shell Attack, and his B is Water Gun. And he was pretty fun to play as, honestly. <laughs> Ivysaur has, I believe, Razor Leaf, Vine Whip, and something else. I can't remember his other attack. Leaf Seed? Might be Leaf Seed. Charizard has Fly, Flamethrower, and Rock Smash. Rock Smash is broken in the boss mode. And then their uh, uh, their ultimate is called Triple Finish, where they just all attack and destroy everyone. And then they add Lucario which is basically the Mewtwo replacement. Mm-hmm. He's got this ability, though, where the more damage he takes, the more damage he gives out. That's true. Yeah, he's, so... He's voiced by Goku, too. I know he is in the anime. I don't know if he is in the game. He is. Oh, is he? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Just remember this. When the new Smash is coming out on Wii U and this one... When it showed the name Sean Chemel, everyone thought, Oh my god, Goku's in the game! <laughs> You're funny. Mm-hmm. His final smash actually is like a Kamehameha. Which is really awesome. It's it's Aura Blast, I believe, or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. His Aura Sphere. Which, He's just a really cool character. He's a lot better than Mewtwo was. Mm-hmm. Which I hate to say, but he was. Even in future installments, he's still better. Yeah, he is. Uh, we have Lucas from um, Earthbound, or Mother 3. 
Um, Which we still have yet to get. Yeah, he is, aside from uh, PK, he has PK Freeze that PK Flash. Other than that, he's another Ness. You know, if we got Mother of Three on the Game Boy Advance in 2006, this character's addition would have been a lot more impactful because apparently Mother of Three is really fucked up. But, like, we're just like, okay. Yeah, every, yeah, North America. Basically, everyone outside Japan is just like, okay. And then Maybe we got not. Ike. I forgot what Fire Emblem game he's from. Me neither. I don't remember. Where, I don't know where any of them are from, dude. I don't care to know. Sorry. He's basically, he's basically I, a power. I, he's basically a powerhouse. Um, he's, his, he's Roy's replacement. His, his up B is very uh, do or die. Ether. And then if you miss, uh, down you go. Yeah. His final got- smash is great, Ether, where he just beats that shit out of you. Yeah. Um, he, he's all right, I guess. I don't really like to use him. Then there's Pit from Kid Icarus. Why? Who knew what Kid Icarus was? Uh, Sakurai probably had plans in the future to make a new Kid Icarus game, which happened. I mean, he's not bad. Like, he's not bad to play as. I'm just more like, okay. Well, I don't know. It's nice that they bring out random dead IPs every now and then. Then we have, finally, Wario. <laughs> Wario time. He's Excuse hilarious. Me. Oh, he's Jesus hilarious. Christ. Like, he farts. He summons a motorcycle. Yeah, I used to piss people off in the next game with the motorcycles, or even this one. I would just go back and forth, back and forth, and just keep knocking him in the air until I was just like, time to jump and smack him. His final smash, he turns to like Super Wario. It's, it's yeah, it's what, weird. Do I know what happened? Um, <laughs> one time I uh <laughs> was playing as. Wario Man, I think his name is. I don't know what it is. And I did the the fart upper up jump in on uh, into a spray nose in the air because it was just an item chaos mode, and it bounced me out of the bounds. Remember when Waluigi wasn't DLC for Ultimate? Good times. <laughs> but he still isn't. He's never gonna be. Yeah. Yeah. Or while the Ouija. Maybe we have, next game. No, we have Olimar from Pikmin. And I've not play. I don't own Pikmin on GameCube. I would get it on Wii, but honestly, I'd rather play on the GameCube. I've never played Pikmin. Uh, I played Pikmin three. It's a it's a good game. Like it's it's really neat. It's just something I wish I could play with a friend. You know. His moves are just basically using Pikmin to throw at people. Yeah, uh, there's a cutscene in the story where I love that just Captain Falcon just kills just all, of his, of all of his Pikmin, and it, it just st- it stands still for a little bit. And Pik- Almar's just like, what? His yeah. final smash is, I think, his spaceship, and he like, launches. He basically kills everybody. And then we have one of the weirdest additions in history, Rob. Rob, the Rob bot. See, Wait. this is this isn't his first appearance of in the modern era. He is his first modern reappearance. I'd say was Mario Kart DS. Well, here's my thing though. Character. He wasn't in, in a video game. He was an accessory. Yeah, well, I mean, he has a big impact on Nintendo's history, so it makes sense. But he's an accessory, not a character. He's a toy. So technically, everyone in Smash Bros. lore is a figure slash toy. So, Rob... You're Yeah. You know what I mean? R- Rob maybe is a trophy in people's eyes. I mean, he, he plays like a robot. He has laser eyes. He has spinning arms. What the fuck is his final smash? Oh, God. What was it? He doesn't fire a big laser, does he? I don't remember, I dude. Think, I, think, I think he just goes into a frenzy. And you, you have to run around and run into players. Now there's two more characters. One was about, like, here, one is here. like what, and the other one's just like, woo. So, this is the first time that they brought n- not Nintendo characters into Smash Bros. And it won't be the last. 
First one I still scratch my head at. Mm -hmm. Solid Snake. What? <laughs> Mm -hmm. it, was like, it was a really weird addition. Like, I get Metal Gear Solid is a really big franchise, but like, he looks like a guy. He doesn't really fit the cartoony aesthetic. Not at all, but he somehow works. Well, like, and he's a game character. I mean, it's not like we have, but we have regular humans in the next couple games too. So I guess they made him work. Yeah, I guess, but. He was an okay addition. I didn't really care. The last character made me fucking scream. I was in shock and awe. <laughs> they added Sonic the Hedgehog in the Smash Bros. Because I think I... they were doing a request of a fan vote, and I think he won. For Brawl. I think Sonic won. So they put Sonic in. He was supposed to be in Melee, but there was time constraints. Yeah, so they put him in Brawl, and uh, he actually fits because of his cartoony design. Mm -hmm. But he, um, his move sets, um, his up B is a spring, homing attack, and he has two different spin dashes, which I find to be really strange. You can charge one, and there's one that just goes, right? Yeah, and his final smash, of course, is supersonic, because what else would it be? Which is broken as shit. <laughs> yeah. So we have a much we have a bigger roster this time. Um which is but, good. Uh, There's more variety. It's okay. I was but, like I was like where's K rule? Oh no. Oh, no. oh yeah, 13 year old Alex, he just wouldn't understand. We'll get there. We'll get there. Yeah. Yeah, he wouldn't But be. this was at the time, like, having Sonic in there was extremely exciting. Oh, definitely. It was just so weird. Like, having that... a game where you could actually have Mario and Sonic fight? There was people that were saying, just because Sonic was in Smash Bros, that were like, oh, Nintendo owns Sonic now, right? No, no, they just worked out a deal with Sega. People are stupid. Like, Sega and Nintendo are very buddy-buddy and chummy-chummy now, so... All they have to do is say, hey, can we use Sonic? And they'd be like, yeah. And Sonic's been in a main has been a mainstay since. He's not going anywhere. Yeah, he, but I like the roster in this game. I like the additions of the Pokemon. Like being able to play as Charizard is really cool. Um it's uh there's a, there's a couple I question, like I still question Solid Snake, but you know. I don't know what the deal with that one was. The thing honest. about this game too is it is a lot easier to unlock the roster this time. Yeah, a lot easier because they have a story mode now. Yeah, and if and you want to get Sonic early, you know, and test him out, you could just do, like, was it classic mode, like, ten times or something? I just went through the story mode first. Thing I well, I hate, because he only you get him at the end after you beat the final boss, and he was a bitch. Yeah, you have to beat the final boss to get Sonic, but... The story mode is, how do I put this, unnecessarily long. Yeah, a lot of things happen in this story, even though there's no dialogue. It takes like 10, 12 hours. Yeah, and the stages themselves are not very interesting. And with like, it's not like you, it's not like you have like a Mario level as Zelda. It's just they made everything up from scratch. Yeah, I mean, there's some, there's some influence, like you fight Rayquaza at one. Yeah, but it's just so bland looking, though. Yeah, the enemies are very generic. It's not like you're fighting Goombas or De or Redeads or um, Eggman Robos or anything like that or Kremlings. It's I mean, just you go to you go weird... to certain you go to certain places. Like I think you go to Congo Jungle. You're in a castle area for the Fire Emblem characters. Mm -hmm. That's a well, you fight on Meta Knight's ship, but like... You go into the clouds, I guess, with... Uh, with Pit. Pit, yeah. But like, there's... It's just long, drawn out, and kind of boring. What pissed me off was when I saw the, like, peeking in of the floating island in the top right, I thought that was Angel Island because Sonic was in the game. 
Nope. It... There's no Sonic reference in the story, but other than Sonic just showing up. Yeah, I was like, why is there a floating island up here that has nothing to do with anything? Why couldn't it have been Angel Island? And Sonic so basically have what's going on is this being called Taboo and list villains to turn all the characters into trophies. Yeah. And Master Hand is giving Ganondorf and Bowser the, uh, what's it called? Orders to, and War- Wario as well. Yeah. Do this. But, but then all the characters eventually get turned into statues, and, like, I think Luigi has to go save them or something. Or I need well, to be Kir- It's Kirby, because, uh, uh, Kirby ate one of the buttons that DDD had. Oh, DDD and Kirby uh, awakened because for some reason, whatever the hell DDD made breaks the curse of them being trophies. So of course it's Kirby. Why would it be anyone else? Thanks, Sakurai. You so think it would be? You think it would be Mario? No. And then Luigi. Then they save Luigi, and then those three go off to. And then you save all the play. characters. You have a fucking uh, an assault led by Sonic on Taboo. Taboo just dies. Yeah, and, and you that's could, it. You could get uh, three other characters, but they're not part of the story. And they're Jigglypuff, Wolf, and uh, Toon Link. They're just there to uh, so you can unlock them from the. Okay, that's all. Yeah, it's nothing like anything. Like wow. Yeah, no, it's honestly nothing to write home about. Um. It's an easy way to get all the characters, and that's, like, the only reason to do it. But it's the longest and most tedious, I feel. Yeah, but it's... If you don't... It's just... Just play through it once, you'll have the whole roster, and you never have to touch again. There's no reason to play it on higher difficulties, honestly. Just play it on suit. Just play it on the easiest difficulty, get all the characters, and done with it. That's all you gotta do. Yeah. yeah. You don't um... They um, there's a lot more to the game than just the subspace emissary, though. Classic mode's back, but it's, eh, <laughs> it's pretty much the same thing. Um, From what I remember, there's um, trophies again. Trophies are back, which is awesome. And they have something called retro like like they give you retro games you can play to figure yeah, out they're called where... they're called masterpieces where you can play like, older like, games for a couple minutes yeah Which ocarina cool. of time was uh one of them you could play for about like half an hour i think five minutes five minutes oh wow somebody was able to find a way to beat the game and fight so, on that like the whole game is actually on the game it's just they put a timer on it, so mm-hmm. if you wanted, you could probably put a mo- put a mod in the game to disable the timer. If yeah. you really wanted to play all those games, the soundtrack is insane. They have so many songs. Mm, yes, even they, they even had the shitty Sonic Six game music in there. That's his victory jingle too. Oh God! But it's a, it's great music anyway. But there's, there's one a, music I, piece I never understood was Angel Island Remix, where it's like just weird guitars. Never understood that one. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's just weird. But yeah, you could like change like what kind of music you want to appear on certain stages. That's yeah, really you. Cool. Yep. If you only want to hear, let's say, "Live and Learn" on Green on Green Hill Zone, go for it. And then not only do you have the regular stages, they have a stage creator. And back then, this was the coolest damn shit ever. I made some really like fun levels back in the day, but they're probably all gone now. So yeah, yeah. You know how data loss is losing be. And I just had a fun time with that, honestly, more so than future games iterations of stage yeah. creators. Yeah, there's an event mode again where you go through a bunch of missions. It's not as difficult as the melee one. It can still be hard, but it can be. Not but they're bad. also a lot more creative in brawl. I can't remember any of them to be honest. It's been so long. Yeah, I've but they were. Known. I remember there being a lot more creative in brawl. Um, 
there's there's, a, uh, there's the, the break the targets is not character specific anymore. Yeah, there's only like what three to four style or five. There's, there's five. Okay, five like levels, and every character can do them. Uh, oh, there's something else. There's also incentive to actually do all these side things too, because you have an achievements unlockable yeah, section. You unlock now. music. You unlock stages. You unlock. Make sure, you un- make sure you unlock the one that lets you, uh, so you don't have to fight all the bosses on uh, very hard mode. Mm-hmm. That one is a nightmare. Yeah, because you can unlock this thing to unlock challenges sooner. And uh, You can use a, one of these special hammers to break open a, a yep, thing yep. if you want. You got like music, trophies, stickers. Stickers are actually used for the single player to make yourself stronger, to make the game faster. Yeah, but just play it on easy, because you're not going to play the single player after. You're only going to do it once, you're never going to do it again. Yeah, if you get stickers, go ahead and just apply them as you go, so you can just get stronger, move faster, etc. It's not, it's like something I didn't use as a kid. I realize now that, man, that would have helped a little bit. But, it's whatever. So, then we, let's see, what else do they have in terms of side content? Uh, There's the all-star <sighs> modes back. Yeah, that one is pretty much the same spiel. Yeah. Uh, you have a really nice little cave area that you hang out in now, too. Yeah, what the hell was that? Sorry, that was me hitting my microphone. Oh, I was like, is there a dog attacking you? What is <laughs> happening right now? <laughs> oh, oh, no, help me. I was like, geez, usually my dog's the one attacking, not <laughs> your dog. <laughs> the, the little dog just comes in and just fucking chomps at my neck. Yeah, where his like, mind's like, <laughs> I'm like, thanks, you fucking asshole. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> uh, now let's uh, talk about the stages. The what? The levels. Yeah, there's a lot in this game. Oh, you think this is a lot? We look at the ultimate. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we have Battlefield and Final Destination, which are what they always are. Pretty outside. Now we have Delfino Plaza, which is actually a really cool level. I like it a lot. I like going around Delfino Plaza. Like I love stages that move around the background while you're on just like a platform. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Then there's Luigi's Mansion, which you can like break the mansion as you're yeah. fighting. Yeah, you have to break it from the top down. It's really funny. And then it like respawns. Then there's Mushroomy Kingdom, which is like an auto scroller Mario level. And it's all a, a much of a de- it's all a desert, and then sometimes you can have it underground. Then so we have Mario Circuit, which is basically you're fighting on a Mario Kart course. Yeah, yeah. carts are coming at you. That's it. Then you have Mario Brothers, which is just the arcade game Mario Brothers. Yeah, it's literally the exact yeah. same design of the third level in the game. It's That's like insane. Yeah, I did not like it. Or are you um, talking about are you talking about Donkey Kong? Or are you talking about? It's Mario Brothers. The Mario Bros. where it's just the the lines, the platforms. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, I hate that stage, too. Then there's Yoshi's Island, which is Yoshi's Island. Yay, same thing. <laughs> then there's Rumble Falls, which is the DK stage. It's is not that, as good you know, as the Melee one, in my opinion. Is that one the auto-scroller? I believe so, yeah. Yeah, it's weird. And then there's 75 meters. Yeah, that's uh, the third level in Donkey Kong. And, yeah, fuck uh, this level. Yeah, it's huge, but at what cost? Mm-hmm. Honestly. And yeah. then we have the Bridge of Elden, which is just a straight line. And it's basically a... Uh, it's a fancier... Uh, what do you want to call it? Battlefield or Final, Final Destination. Destination? Yeah. Then we have the pirate ship from Wind Waker, which is really cool. Yeah, you're sailing on the oceans at first, and then a tornado will pick you up. Into the, it's a cyclone, really. It'll pick you up into the air, and then you'll be up there for a bit, and then you'll fall back down, and sometimes you'll crash up on a rock, and you got to get on the rocks to keep continuing, and the ship will eventually like, get Wait, over the say, rocks. Did you, did you say crash into the dock? Don't hurt me like that. Okay. I'm, I'm sorry that crash didn't appear in Smash Bros. Ultimate, okay? Yeah, maybe he should have! 
<laughs> well, maybe he should have, but you know, we need Sora to be there so we can make a tie to how Sora appears in the next game, okay? Look, if they make Smash Bros. canon, we're a fucking. Yeah. Maybe, that, maybe that's why it took Namora so long to say yes to Sora being in that game because he wants to figure out how to tie it in. So then we have Norfair from Metroid. It's just another Metroid level with lava. Woo. Then we have Frigate Orpheon, which is where you fought the first boss. In, in what? Where you fought the first boss in uh, Metroid Prime. Metroid Prime. Uh, yeah. Then we have yeah. the Halberd, which is um, Meta Knight's um, shit. I love that stage. Yeah, and then, pretty cool. Dude, freaking Gourmet Race remix in that game is absolutely insane with the guitar. Yeah, actually it is. Yeah. Like, it's really badass. <laughs> and then we have the Lilac Cruise, which is the only new Star Fox level, actually. Yeah, and it's in space for the most and part. That, it looks pretty cool. Yeah, like you're just traveling through space. Everything in the background is going crazy. Ships will appear, you can jump onto, and they'll disappear. And then, like, you kind of sometimes go into the atmosphere for a little bit. It's pretty nice. Then there's Pokemon Stadium 2, which is really cool. It's the same thing as the first one, except with just different, you know, assets that pop up. And then there's the Spear Pillar. Which is a cool level, except for when... Dialga or Palkia, whichever one it is that shows and Pers- up. Persalia shows up too. Yeah, she does. I forget what she does, though. Stuff. Giratina can show up and just make everything dark. I don't th- I don't think he can in Brawl. Really? I think they might have added him in Ultimate, but he's not in Brawl. Oh. Oh, well. Um, then there's a Port Town Arrow Dive, which is just another F-Zero stage. It's nothing to- yeah, it's just... Eh. Then there's New Pork City, which I hate. It's too big. It's zoomed out. I hate it. And there's like little monsters that attack you, and it's just like, go away. I just want to fight. This is for, it's from Mother 3, so we have no context for it. So mm-hmm. Then there's Summit, the Ice Climber stage. Then there's Castle Siege from Fire Emblem. <laughs> Castle Siege is very small. Notice, notice how I feel about Ice Climber. <laughs> you just don't care. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but I do, well, I do like the Ice Climber stage, because it just starts sliding downhill, and then it goes into the water, and then it just goes back up. It's pretty cool. But Castle Siege is a pretty small and contained. If you just want to pulverize somebody, bring them here. Yeah. And then, like there's, and then there's Flat Zone 2, which is almost the same as the first Flat Zone. It's just a different... Imagine it just being a different game and watch. And it's then there's different. Sky World, which is pistol, which is almost exactly like Battlefield. Yeah, except you can't go up, back up through the ground unless you destroy the platforms. Yeah, so but it feels a lot like Battlefield. Yeah, it's it's a good stage. It looks nice. And then there's WarioWare Incorporated, which is hilarious. I love it. It's so dumb. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, I I really do love it a lot. <laughs> then there's Distant Planet, which is the Pikmin level. Uh, very nice level. I like it a lot. Uh, it's pretty cool. Very, if you don't have like the music on, it's really nice. Uh, then there's Shadow Moses Island, which is the Metal Gear. Level. The Metal Gear Rex is in the background, so. I don't know any context for Metal Gear, so I was just like, this is a stage. And uh, then there's Green Hill Zone. Kind of sucks. It does, but there's tails, knuckles, and silver in the background. Yeah, wow. Well. Yay. Where's Shadow? Never. He's an assist trophy. Yeah. Will he be an Echo Fighter? No. Oh, you. Then there's Smashville from Animal Crossing, which is weird because Animal Crossing in this game. What? Uh, Animal Crossing, no characters are in this. They're brand new. No. Well, they they don't have any Animal Crossing characters to uh, smash. Yeah. There's an Animal Crossing level, though. It's all right. It's just a flat stage with a few platforms up here. Then there's Picto Chat from the DS. That's a really cool level. It's I, I it's more of a makes me scratch my head. I think it's funny because you are because I've used Picto Chat before, people. And it's fun. 
Just stuff you can make. Then there's Hannon Bow. What the fuck is that? Garbage. That's what it is. And that from, what game is that from? I don't know. It's something obscure, clearly, because I have never heard of it. There's a couple of returning melee stages, like Rainbow Cruise is back, Yoshi's Island is back, Jungle Japes, The Temple, Rinstar, Onet, Big Blue, Pokemon Stadium, of course, Beyond Green. I don't need to go over them again. We went over them in the Yeah, for way too long. <laughs> so, as you guys can see, there are a lot more levels in this. One mechanic I missed, um, besides Final Smash, we have another new mechanic. It's called an Assist Trophy. Yes, 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 yes. Which yes. is, if you grab an item, a certain character will come and help you, like uh, Nintendogs or Shadow the Hedgehog, uh, Waluigi. I mentioned about. We didn't even forget to mention melee has challenges themselves. Like you do this, and it's like you like did, and you get like you did thirty matches, or you you on you saw Mew, you know, when from the Pokeball or whatever. Yeah, they have like these little things that are like, oh hey, you did this, yay! Yeah, and melee didn't really do much, but in brawl, it like they gives actually, you rewards. It ties in the stuff like you unlock new music, a new stage, maybe a character. Maybe a sticker, but yeah, it, 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 and it, I, I I don't know. It's it, it's an achievement system. It, it works out well. But brawl, um, when I came when it came out, I was all over brawl. Oh, we forgot one last uh, mode, the coin mode, where you're basically shooting at um, like other trophies on the field and stuff. If there's anything that's gonna get my pussy wet, it's that. Hell yeah. Wait, you're 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 a woman. Don't worry about that. Oh. We'll talk about that later. But uh when Brawl came out, I was all fucking in on this game. Dude, I, I could not stop playing it for like a year straight. I have not touched it since two thousand twelve. I haven't touched it since they shut down the Wii online servers for when I was playing Project M with it. Yeah, like a uh, Brawl um, despite being an improvement on Melee in a lot of ways, like, I think the extra modes are a lot better in Brawl than they are in Melee. Um, the core gameplay, to me, is better in Melee. It's, this is aged, and honestly, I want to leave Brawl as something that I look can look fondly back on on my time during oh, it. Oh, no, I won't shit on Brawl, because when I played it, I loved it, and I had a lot of good time. Brawl. And Brawl yeah, but, is a very... It does what it's trying to do very well. It's a very high quality game. Yeah, I'm just saying, I don't want to go into it to, in today's like eyes and say, oh god, I hate how this is this and that's that. But that's no, what, I... I have a very fond connection to Brawl. And, um... I don't at all think Brawl is bad. Do not think I'm saying that. Brawl is actually very good. Some people say it's the worst game, like, ever made. So I, like... do, I don't... I, it's my third favorite Smash game in Power to Rank. It's a great game. Especially and if you're I a Wii owner. I, if you're a more casual player, then Brawl is right for you. But honestly, everyone has a Switch now. Just get Ultimate. Just get Ultimate. Yep. Yeah, I could say, oh, you could just get a Wii U and just play Brawl through the backwards compatibility, but... Or you could just get Ultimate and be smart. Have every and have everything. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. So, Brawl is great, and if, I'm sure if you're a Smash fan, you have played it. Yeah. So, I Alan, haven't. next time we meet, are we talking about Pokemon, or are we talking about Smash 4? Pokemon. All right, next time we meet, guys, we'll be talking about Pokemon Gen 2. Thank you all so much for your watching, and I hope you guys stick around for more. Unless, Alex, you have something you would like to add. I'm working on a review right now. Let's see how long it takes to make. All right, then. Stick around for that, guys. Until then, take it easy. <laughs>